announced moments of panic on the OU campus, students and staff told to get out. Tonight, the sign and rubble that brought out the bomb squad. And that is where we begin tonight at 6, the all-clear given after hours of tense investigation. McIntyre Law Chopper 4 on the scene showing you the situation from the sky. News Force Dylan Brown was there minutes later on the ground. Dylan, update us on the situation. Yeah, Kevin, as you said, it really was heavy police presence, heavy presence out here, response in general. This is at Gaylord Hall, University of Oklahoma, to essentially what, what, what was rocks, cinder blocks, a couple of ornaments, uh, found some in the trash can, actually. They threw it away next to this. But you can see they have some still out here tonight. Uh, overall, though, students were panicked, officials tight-lipped. Just after noon, an evacuation notice given to students at the University of Oklahoma, saying avoid Gaylord Hall. Due to this, this image snapped by OU Knightley. Next to the Sooner Schooner, a sign protesting the war in Palestine, adding what looks to be rubble or rocks. Uh, we had a couple officers come out and examine it. Asp Avenue and Lindsay blocked off. Moments later, the bomb squad goes in, their robot deployed. An hour later, the bomb squad goes back in. Evacuation still in place. Students get nervous. I was in physics class. I just got out and my mom called me. She's like, you need to go right back to the dorm. Finally, 3.30, the all clears given. I'm sorry, mom. I love you. I promise I'm safe. Uh, I think it's a statement because it said the word genocide on it. Personally, it's I don't like, I don't think there's a in, I don't think they intended for it to be something threatening. I think it's a uh, Use your voice, free speech. What do you think of the response? I think it does what they wanted to accomplish, and it's mass media coverage, and that's, uh, it, it's a bold move. Do you think they should get in trouble? Get what it is? I don't, I don't believe anything should happen on a serious level. I think it's definitely something that they should be aware of. When asked why the response, what exactly was the suspicious item? We're not going to take any questions about that. Now, hopefully we can get some answers here soon. Still many questions along with this, but for now, the scene's clear. Students a little relaxed tonight. Live in Norman, Dylan Brown, Oklahoma's News 4.